Good morning, Mrs. Janie. Morning, sir. What is that? Why our sales product gets declining like this? I'm very disappointed with your performance. Your work is very bad. This is the last warning for me. If you can improve your performance next month. I will fire you. I'm sorry, sir. I will try harder. It's really funny to see Jenny got mad by Mr. Mingyu. Lisa, you know what? When you came out, the name employee was called by Mr. Mingyu. Look at this. Oh my god, why is that? It's because of her bad performance in marketing for the past three months and her coworkers don't have a good relationship with Jenny. Oh wow, it's Jenny did that? Right? Yeah, she can communicate well, her coworkers say. Yeah, 14. Lisa called Mr. Henry as the head marketing of Jenny to tell him that his subordinate had been scolded by Mr. Mingyu. After that, Lisa came to Jenny's text to give her some advice. Hello, good morning Jenny. Hello, morning Miss Lisa. How can I help you? Don't call me Miss. We're the same age. I just want to talk. Are you busy? No, what do you want to talk about? It's about today, Jen. I heard from my friend that you have a problem with Mr. Mingyu, right? Oh yeah, right. Why? How do you feel if I know Jen? I really disappoint with myself, sir. Oh, Jenny, I understand it. it must be hard for you. By the way, can I give you some advice to help you? It's really okay, sir. I love here too, yeah. I hear you rarely communicate with uh, the rest of the marketing uh, team your, about your work. No, I feel like I am a good work. I think you are wrong, sir. And I think we should stop talking. I need to get on with my work. Was. I think what people say about Jenny is true. It's difficult to communicate with her. Huh? What are you talking to her about? I just wanted to give her some advice. At first, she expected it. But then her face uh, changed and she ended our conversation. What should I do? Sa, so, if I may make a suggestion, I think you should just let Jenny be. I think she's an individualist and can solve her own problems. Yeah, does it? Okay, thanks Ross for the advice. Okay. On the same day, Jenny was called by Mr. Mingyu into his room. Mr. Mingyu looked unhappy with the weekly report he had just received at this time. Jenny, look at this. Our sales report is not improved by this week. I still give you a chance to improve that. If not, I will fire you. Do you get it? Yes, forgive me sir, I will try. The tiring day at the office is finally over. Now Jenny wants to go home immediately. But on the way back home, Jenny meets with Lisa. Hi Lisa, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Not too good. Lisa, are you busy? Not busy. What's going on? We need your advice. That's it. What's going on? I just get reprimanded by Mr. Mingyu again. Can I ask your advice on what to do now? I can let me help you first. I think you should start communicating with 
your marketing partner, Jen? I'm scared, ha? My marketing has always beyond my ability, but I'm afraid to say no. Jen, just be honest with your marketing plan. And if you scared, um, I can help you talk because I'm quite close to the Lisa, I don't know how to thank you. I really, I really help with your advice. Not a big deal. Let's fight together on this war. Fighting! After receiving advice and help from Lisa, Jenny finally found a way out of her problems. Jenny began to improve her communication and her performance. At the end of the month, Jenny managed to prove to her boss that she could do a good job. Jenny learned a lot from appreciating someone's advice. She also learned that we need good communication and cooperation to achieve something. Lisa's advice changed Jenny's life. Advising changed everything.